Welcome guys, I will show you guys how to make uh, Sky Lanterns. So first when you open Blender we just click anywhere to make this thing disappear. Then we press A to select everything. And then press delete. I'll turn on screencast so you guys can see anything I do. Then press N to make this bar go away. And then I will press Shift A. Go to mesh and add a circle. Once you've added a circle, you want to go down here. Instead of 32, we want to type 12. And then we press tab on this and press E and then Z to extrude on the Z axis. Then we left click and press F to fill. Now we'll press tab again, right click on this and then in under tools, under shading we go to smooth. Next thing we do is we press shift A, go into mesh, add a torus. For this we scroll down here, in major segments we do 10 and in minor segments we do 4. Same thing again, we go down to Tools and then Shading, we do Smooth. Now press S and then Scale In, about here. And this looks good. After this you want to press Tab on this, press A to deselect everything. Now you want to select two of these vertices from the side and two of the vertices from the exact opposite side and then press E and Z and just take them up. Just about here should do. Now let go of those by pressing A, select these two, move them to the side just so they touch the side of the lantern. They shouldn't actually be going out of it. Now select the other two, move them to the left side, making sure you're not they're not going to the other side. I'm, ho I'm, I'm holding shift and then middle mouse button to, to uh, move around like this. Once you've done this, we will press Z to get a better view. Then we will press A to deselect everything. Now we'll select all of these. The only thing we're not selecting are these two and these two vertices. And then press P, selection. Now we have um, separated our mesh from these two. All right, so now we press Z again to go back to the normal view. Now we select this and select these, so th these vertices and this plane, and then we press Control J. Now we have joined these two, so now if we move these, um, this thing will stay behind. So I'll just press Control Z to move it back, and now down here, we open this up. In materials, we add new, and then we click on this torus right here, we add another new material right here. And then after we've done that, uh, we are good to go. So now we'll go to File, Save As, I'll call this Sky Lantern, and then File, Export, FBX, Sky Lantern again. And then I will see you guys in Unreal Engine. So uh, once we open Unreal Engine, we'll make a new folder right here. All this lanterns. Once you've done that, if you want to double click open this, make a new material. I will call this M underscore lantern fire. Then we double click and open this. We hold 3, left click to add a 3 vector. We connect this to the emissive color. Double click to open this. Type here 60 and then 6. And we have a bright orange color. So press OK. Now right click here, type sine. Not cosine, my bad. So right click here, type sign, we bring in a sign, and then right click again, and we type time. Now we connect the time to the sign, and the sign to our base color. And now we press save. To minimize this, now we want to make another material. This one we will call M underscore lantern. Then we double click and open this. We add a three vector. You guys can choose the color you really, uh, you guys want. Any color will do. I'll just choose a slight orange color. Then we will connect this to our base color. Then we want to press one. Bring this up. Connect this to opacity. We'll choose something like 0.99 here. Then you want to click on this M lantern. Under blend, uh, blend mode, we want to go into translucent and shading model, we want to choose subsurface and make this two-sided. 
Now we will save this. And then just close it. Now right click here. Make a new particle system. This I will call P underscore lanterns. Now we will open this particle system. So right here we right click. Go into type data. And we will choose new mesh data. We click on this mesh data. Down here we will look for our sky lantern. That we made inside Unreal Engine. Uh, inside Blender. If you guys haven't um, imported it yet. You guys just go here. Import your sky lantern. And now you guys will see. Inside your. Uh, inside here. So you guys can just go down here. Find your sky lantern. And then Im import it. So before you actually do that. You want to double click on the sky lantern. You want to drop the right material. On the right surface. So the fire goes, the fire material goes in the middle, and the other material goes on the outside. Then press save. We go back to our particle system. It's compiling shaders right now. Now inside spawn, I will do 500, and then lifetime I will do 500 each for minimum and maximum. Initial size, I'll do one for each of these. And then once we have done that inside our initial velocity, choose 2 to 150 and then minus 2, minus 2 and 100. Now delete the color over life module and then we right click here and add go to location, initial location seed. So down here we will type 25,000, 25,000. Then press enter and now they are spawning from a from a really wide area then we go into bounce once we made the bounce you're going to uh, this drop down and set fixed bounce and then save this now what you want to do is you want to just drag your particle system not this you want to just drag your particle system right in here and you have your f uh, sky lanterns I hope this was helpful to you guys. I do apologize. Um, I just read this uh, this voice. So I do apologize. The last one, the sound was really bad. So I have updated this and I hope this is better for you guys. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.